too, are awaiting the conclusion of that North Carolina KC current game as we're underway. Angel City playing host to Chicago Red Stars. Healthy with Chicago is how those two would work together. I think they're seeing now more of a future with Julia Grosso in that transition spot in the midfield. That direct ball in behind, here's Bright. Working towards that byline and left too much of it there for Malazzo to poke away. Emsley. Edge of the area, Doherty, Howard, who measures the strike, and it's not too far away, and Thompson follows in. Alyssa Thompson suddenly finding herself in a rich vein of scoring form. 4v3 in this space. Doherty Howard is the open player, and with this shot that ends up being saved by Nate. Some of those messages are getting across. Yeah, film room and now out on the pitch as Kristen Press is now back healthy. You know that she's eager to get a couple of more touches in, and Alyssa Thompson's like, yes, I'll glean all, all the information from Kristen. Gets it played in behind. Now cutting inside, it's a fantastic bit of skill. Here's Spencer's low ball, and it's flicked on, and it's flicked in. An incredible start for Angel City. The work from Jasmine Spencer, the architect of a brilliant goal, and Bright just had to apply a touch. It's 2-0 to Angel City inside of 12 minutes. The Angel City players are looking back, though, towards the referee, whose arm is up, which is an indication of offside. Set a skill from Spencer. Look at all the numbers here. So she isolates. And then as Spencer goes around, this is what you're looking at. Is Bright offside there? I shouldn't think she is. She's beyond the... Swanson. Will deliver the corner, but that's a short option here with Grosso. We'll take it. And leaves it again for Swanson at a better angle to get the cross in. Awkward there is it was friendly fire between Bright and Thompson. Hooked back in, and the chance is on, and it's over the line, and it's an equalizing goal from Hannah Anderson. Fresh off a contract extension this midweek. It wasn't the most graceful, but he won't care. Chicago Red Stars won't care as they're loving. And they knew that set pieces were going to be an opportunity for them to get after Angel City. And here it's Jenna Bike who keeps it alive. Back post sends it back across. And then Hannah Anderson, we just get over talking about how she's going to have to step up. A big role for her in her rookie year. Now the starting left center back, and she just guides this into the back of the net, gets across the face of Didi Hadachich at the right moment. Hadachich doesn't even see her coming. They lose track of marks, does Angel City, and Chicago make them pay, getting themselves back into this game. Her first career NWSL goal comes days after no, signing a... But then, but then they're trying to see if she was offside or not, and I, I think that we're gonna go, well, we are gonna go to the, the monitor. I think it's the initial play, Woody, off of the corner kick. Yeah. Because it has to be two defenders. It's the second to last defender. It's the second to last defender, rule. and right now it's Didi Hadachich, and yeah. I think that takes Mal Swanson in the offside, puts her in the offside position. I don't think this is going to be a goal. It's a great point. Yeah, it is the penultimate defender that determines offside, and so here is the decision. Offside, it won't count. So from the short corner routine, there was nothing wrong with the goal itself. It was the short corner routine. It is of her strong suits. That's not the strong suit. Her attacking prowess is. She just hopes she doesn't pay for it here on this set piece. The set piece taken short and whipped into the area. And the chance is on, and it's fallen in by B. Franklin. Her first career NWSL goal and a well-worked set piece. And this one should stand as Chicago on terms, 10 minutes into stoppage time. The frustration from Hadicic because this is no man's land. She can't get to the ball. And it's well put together here by Swanson. And then Cuica who plays the ball in. It's a nice chipped, clipped ball here up and over. Messiah Bright, there's a soft spot there. There's no defender that is standing there at the beginning. Migalski turning away from the pressure. And there is the halftime whistle at the end of an incident packed first half. It's Angel City 1, Chicago 1. Confirmation for the change. Sydney LaRue will enter off the bench, as does Katie Zellum, who just joined the club, taking the summer off and playing in the WSL. 
We're underway in the second half. Angel City, Chicago Red Stars, all level at one apiece. Ankle recovery. Didn't know if she'd ever play soccer again in her first game back. What did she do? Score a brilliant goal. So I think it's a good move to bring her in. Zellum on the turn. And laid off a good first touch. And the strike coming in for Madison Curry. And it just went over the bar. Now Thompson. A decent idea. And it could come for Sydney LaRue at full stretch who gets a piece and collides with her former national teammate. Yeah, it's just a little out of her reach. Oh, and it's a loose giveaway. And a chance is on. And a big save. And on the follow, it's Jenna Pike. High and wide of target, an absolute sitter for Chicago to take the lead, and she couldn't keep it on target. At the beginning of the year, Angel City were their own worst enemy in these types of situations where they just didn't clear the ball. They tried to play too cute in situations as back passes behind the back foot of Sarah Gordon. There's no way she can get there, and Jamise Joseph pounces on it makes Hadicic make a really good save. I like the positioning there from Hadicic because she's far enough off her line that she can make a quick save, cut off the angle, and she's creating a lot of space in these gaps centrally for them to exploit. Well, then Spencer is exploding into Emsley. And he'll come kindly back to Emsley. First shot towards goal is dealt with there by a listener. I don't know what you call that. It's not a sombrero, right? Swung into the area. Free header was on for Megan Reed. Plenty of space for Spencer as Reed plays that long ball in behind. And now Spencer goes beyond. Spencer's low cutback will come through. Here's Thompson for her second off the post. The post and then go out of bounds. It's a great run and a ball played in behind by Jasmine Spencer here knows that she can get a foot on Milazzo. And then this is the correct seam to play it back. There's two runners stretching towards the near post. It creates space for That's another change into the game as it's lifted in from Zella. Headed across and still opportunity there for Vignola. Volley forward. Here's Thompson. So good in these wide positions, picking out service. Now Zella. And it takes a deflection and it's. 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, and a little bit above that. Stoppage time is presented by Nationwide. We're in the minimum of eight minutes and a chance here for Vignola, and there's the goal! The winning goal for Sydney LaRue! Her fifth of the season, Angel City have beaten down the doors and finally knocked it off its hinges. Angel City 2, Chicago Red Stars 1, and second half stoppage time. Here's Julia Bianchi's delivery. Nair is in there. Hanacic went, and it's struck there by Shea Groom into the outside of the net, and that should just about do it. And there is the full-time whistle, a massive victory in Angel City's push to make the playoffs.